Hello everyone, some days ago I posted a poll on my Italian channel. The question was, uh, why do animals have sex? I received a lot of answers. The first one is for pleasure, 17% of answers. The second one is for reproduction, 30% of uh, answers. Then there is for both, this is the majority of answers. And at the end I wouldn't know just a small percentage of answers. So. Um, why do animals have sex? This is a very important question. If we do not understand it, we cannot even enter into the study of sexuality, which is sexology. And uh, we do not uh, need to have a particular uh, knowledge of biology, we just have to follow a simple reasoning. So I hope I will easily convince you uh, of that, but the confusion is uh, so widespread and uh, I, I hear some things uh, very often which I find appalling. And of course it is not uh, our fault. Uh, we have to blame, of course, people who uh, teach us, who instruct us. So how do animals have sex? In order to answer this question we must go back at uh, the way the animal mind works. The animal mind doesn't work by purposes or goals. It is not finalistic, goal-oriented, like uh, our mind is. For example, we work 30 days in order to gain our salary. Uh, the, the animal mind doesn't work like that, it's much more simple. It works uh, by instincts. So they follow instincts. Instincts are uh, some uh, internal drives, uh, some internal desires, something that pushes us to do uh, a particular thing. Uh, let's make an example. The a famous one is the, the web and the spider. So when the spider spins the web for the first time, he doesn't know the function of the web. He doesn't know that the web is the tool, his tool for nutrition. He just goes on spinning and spinning. Nobody taught him uh, how to do that, which shape uh, to make, where to place it, but he just knows it by instinct. He follows an internal urge to uh, put out this substance, this wonderful, uh, very resistant fiber, once the web is done, some insects get trapped in the web and the spider eats them. But it's not that the spider is hungry, so he thinks, oh, I'm hungry, therefore I must build a web, therefore the web will trap some insects, therefore my hunger will disappear. It doesn't work like that. And uh, another example is the example of the bees. Bees are very important, we know, for our environment. They are responsible for the reproduction of flowers, of plants. But bees do not know that. They just uh, approach uh, flowers, they take this uh, um, nectar, this uh, beautiful uh, yellow substance they are attracted to, and, uh, and that's it. They do not know that by uh, carrying it into the wind or uh, uh, from a flower to another or from a flower to another part of the same flower, they are responsible for the reproduction. They just do not know that. A final example is, uh, uh, again, with the bees. When I was a child, I, I received a sting from a bee. And I, I wondered, but how does the bee do that? Why would she do that if uh, the bee knows that uh, the sting is uh, a fatal, is mortal, it will lead to its death. So how could it do that? And uh, the truth is that the bee is not brave. The bee is not... Uh, um, she doesn't want to commit suicide. Uh, I use she because bee in Italian is a feminine. But the bee just doesn't know that. It doesn't know uh, that uh, the sting uh, will be the last thing it will do. Uh, if, if it knew that, maybe it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't do it anymore. Of course, bees who uh, die cannot share their uh, knowledge about the mortality of the, of the sting to other bees, but, of course, bees do not have a language to share these experience. 
And so here we come to the second premise. The first premise is that only the human mind is goal-oriented. The second premise is that animals do not have a language like we have. They can communicate very simple things uh, with sounds, with noises. Uh, they can communicate pain, they can communicate sexual arousal, uh, they can communicate anger, but they cannot communicate thoughts precise thoughts, sentences. I hope everybody knows that, but just to make sure of it, when we approach a house with a fence and there is a dog barking at us, the dog isn't making a speech uh, that we would be able to translate if we knew the dog language. There is no such thing as that. The dog is just uh, following again an instinct, the instinct of aggression, the instinct of uh, defense of his uh, territoriality of his space. He's not communicating as a, a thought, a speech. So, um, let's now answer uh, the question, uh, why do animals have sex? Do animals know that sex produces babies? Let's picture that we are a wolf and uh, we see a female of, of our species and uh, of course we want to have sex with her just precisely as it happens to humans, the wolf feels sexual arousal and he feels a longing, a desire, it is an instinct, to do some things with a female, for example, to mount her. Okay, this is, uh, he is following the instinct of pleasure, the instinct of sex, the sexual in instinct, there is no doubt about it, so of course, of course, the animals do sex primarily for pleasure. I read a comment, animals do not have sex for pleasure, it is not a particularly pl pleasurable experience. This is wrong, sex is the most pleasurable experience of all, because it is the tool that nature has made up to encourage reproduction. Okay, so there is no doubt about it, animals, both males and females, have a lot of pleasure in sex. They follow an instinct. So, the, um, the male and the female uh, of, of the wolf uh, just carry on with their lives, they explore territories, uh, they go hunting, they uh, drink, they eat, they howl, and after many months we see, out of our uh, female partner, we see some puppies coming out. So, please tell me how is the wolf supposed to know that those puppies are coming out of the female because of the one thing he did many months ago out of a, a lust for pleasure. So how is he supposed to connect those two events which are not only so distant in time but also so different? A sexual act with a reproduction, these are so different, such different things that even we humans um, had to make a discovery uh, for example, uh, children do not always know that uh, sex produces babies, they must uh, uh, discover it. So either an adult tells them or they discover it because they read about it, but it is not a, uh, an easy thing to connect, okay? It requires some detective skills and those skills anim the animals do not have. So animals do not know that sex leads to reproduction. They do not know that sex produces babies. And so let's, and so let's just disprove some claims, some legends that uh, I hear. For example, uh, the male gorilla uh, will enter a group of gorillas, will kill the alpha male and its uh, puppies because he wants to uh, set the domain of its own line, of its own genes. This is false because the gorilla doesn't know what a line is, doesn't know what a gene is. Okay, so this cannot be the explanation of that. Or another thing that we often hear, when mother bear feels lonely and bored, she decides with the father bear to uh, make little bears. This is wrong, of course, because the mother panda doesn't know how to make babies. Another one is that, uh, I heard it from a documentary of the BBC, I think, uh, when a pack of wolves uh, uh, lack food, because, for example, it is winter, 
they um, decide not to engage in sexual relationship anymore until they have more food because they do not want some mouths to feed. This is wrong, of course, because animals do not plan, do not have family planning. Uh, they do not worry about it. They, have, they do not have the least worry about it. They just uh, have sex as, m as much as they want just without thinking for a second about it and uh, as a matter of fact they produce more os offspring that they can actually um, preserve and uh, unfortunately a, lo a lot of puppies die uh, because of the lack of food but they do not worry about it they just follow the instinct of pleasure and they make as much babies as they can man is the only animal who worries about family planning. So, when people say when men practice contraception, they lower themselves to the level of animals because they have sex just for pleasure. The truth is exactly the opposite of that. When men use contraception, uh, they distinguish themselves from all the rest of the animals because they are the only animals who can limit their uh, offspring.